So today we're gonna to talk about craft as a task manager. Should you use it? I've seen a lot of people say, hey, I gotta use craft as a task manager or, or really anything as a task manager. Um, that's maybe not a specific uh, traditional task manager. And that's what we're gonna talk about. Before we do that, a couple of ways to support the channel. Number one is to become a patron at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Number two is to take one of my Skillshare courses. You can find my link to Zettelcast below, or you can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, take my course on Zettelcasting. Or another thing you can do if you want to kind of interact a little bit is Fridays, two o'clock Pacific, I will be streaming. That's actually what I'm doing now, streaming this video, and then I will chop it up for YouTube later. All right, now we're gonna talk about craft as a, U as a YouTube thing. Craft as a task manager, so buckle up. All right, so craft as a task manager. Should you use it? I make this super simple for you. No, you shouldn't be using this as a task manager. It's not a task manager, people. Um, but let's take a longer look at this, really. I get it, you want a tool that does everything that makes it easy air quotes to do everything and the truth is you're just never going to find it there is no one tool that will do everything you don't see a carpenter saying hey i really wish i had something that was a really good screwdriver and i could use as a hammer too and better be a knife as well and it should be all these other tools and a skill saw better be a skill saw too like it just doesn't happen because when you think about that you're like well of course that's a terrible idea why would i do that that tool is going to be number one terrible at most of the things or barely passable at most of the things and it's just going to be a pain in the butt to use and yet we still want to take any piece of software and can this piece of software be my end all be all everything piece of software for everything i want to do and it can't it just can't um yeah it's just it just can't and really even those screwdrivers you can get that have like a whole bunch of bits in them and you can switch them around they're only okay they're not spectacular so it doesn't mean that you shouldn't always use it uh, or you should never use it to track any type of tasks. I'm going to show you the type of tasks that I actually do uh, track in craft. So you can see the only, the, really the only place I think it's useful. Everywhere else I think it is not useful as a task manager. So what I do keep track of in craft, you can even see in my old Zettelcast in course, is all the resources I was going to go through. This is a project specific kind of task list. Have I gone through all of these resources? And that's it. That's the only thing that's really useful for. You can see it from my upcoming reading course as well. Reading well, how to read a book, the reading mind, reading brain, look at Xiaomi. Uh, he has a video about four more questions you should ask when you're reading. And that's really it. That's not useful. If you're gonna use a task manager, there's like so many that are better. There's things, right? You can see I need to, oh, I already did this. I bought that bike for my daughter. I need to enter in some mileage. I'm not going to click through everything because I'm not 100% sure, but I can go to my inbox. Like, It's really good for me to go through and add tasks quickly, right? I can add them quickly. The space bar, add task, and then put it in. This is my new task. It's not really a global hotkey that you can have for craft, unfortunately. Uh, it would be nice in some respects, but it's just not there. Really, I think you should keep them separate. You should be doing your tasks in a task manager, something, things three, OmniFocus, FireTask, Trello, I don't care which one, and leave Craft, leave Obsidian, leave Rome, leave all these other things for your notes, for your research, for your thoughts on something. And that's it. Don't stick them all together. It's, you're you're going to basically have a terrible task manager, and then your research, your reading, your that type of stuff is simply going to be cluttered up with a bunch of crap that you do not want to see most of the time. That's it. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, you can give me a thumbs up below. If you loved it, you can subscribe, hit the bell. YouTube should be letting you know when things happen then. But honestly, turn all your notifications off. Who wants notifications all the time? Read, work, hang with your kids, do stuff like that. Other ways to support the channel are to become a patron at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Or to take one of my courses on Skillshare, you can find the links to them below in the YouTube description that's going to come up. Or you can go to curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare, where you can just sign up. I get to kick back off that. Thanks very much. And then the streaming. We're going to be doing my videos are going to be streamed first. Uh, and I'll be asking, taking questions. Like today, we talked about the keyboard I have. Ben asked about that. Ben Valak has a great YouTube channel. I wonder if I can find it real quick and just send you right there for those that are here. Uh, YouTube. Especially on the, uh, oh, look, there's me streaming right now. Where do 
There, there we go. Uh, ben, there you go, Ben Malik. He has a great YouTube channel right here on, okay, this is a little weird one, I haven't seen this yet, but Ben, uh, I don't know what you did here. Designing a keyboard layout, I actually don't wanna play this. But designing a keyboard layout, he's got a whole bunch of cool keyboard stuff, even on the keyboard that I have right now and I'm using. So Ben's got a great channel, you should subscribe to that. That's it, thanks for watching, have a good one. If you wanna interact with questions, Friday's 2 p.m. Pacific. Ciao.